It's the end of the snow season. It's still an incredibly busy resort. People are out and about, skis, snowboards, scooters. Still so much snow at this altitude as well. But so many have just been enticed into this incredible occasion. They sit there, they watch, they're hooked. And snow volleyball as a sport is going places. And then they're not going to ski anymore. Yep. They just love the matches. They stick in here. So we meet the referees for the final. The first referee is from Italy, Massimo Viseglia. The second referee in the lower position from the Czech Republic, Milan Vakuta. And what an honor for them to be refereeing this first ever gold medal match. And it's time to meet the teams. First of all, we meet the Russians. The favorites for the competition, the kings of snow, Ruslan Dayanov. He won gold medals on tour last season as well. It's a new partnership for him this year with Taras Miskiv. And they're looking to crown an incredible season with the biggest medal to quite simply have ever been won in this competition. It's the CV Snow Volleyball European Championship final. And Taras Miskiv joins his partner on the court and they are a formidable force but there's a lot of love here for the german team as they begin to be introduced jonas schroeder where's number one for them they're the national champions it's a sport that's growing as quickly in germany as it is anywhere and just listen to that response as jonas schroeder takes the court Paul Becker is his partner. And these are the kind of team they'd have snuck under the radar a little bit because they're the ninth seeds going into the competition. Everybody's been talking about the Russians and the people who've been winning on tour. But that looks like a team who's here, who means business. They've guaranteed themselves a silver medal, but they want a gold. Let's see if they can control their nerves. That's very important in a final match like this. Here we go, Germany versus Russia for the gold medal. The first men's gold medal on snow. And Russia will have the first attack. That they finish with aplomb. Miskiv gets us off the mark. And we can expect plenty of that perfect side out volleyball from the Russians. Mishkiv serves, Becker to Schroeder and a massive block as well. Tarash Mishkiv exploding into this final. Mishkiv to serve, Becker sets to Schroeder. Goes through off the block this time, and Germany off the mark. So important to get that first score. We talked about equipment throughout the day, and the Russians both wearing the gloves. That's very interesting. I think they're the only ones that still play with gloves today. Three-one Russia in this gold medal match. And up goes Becker, roll shot this time, sent back on the first ball. Oh, but finished by Schroeder. Something we've not seen a lot of from Becker there, the proper jump set. We can expect a lot of that because all the four, four players are so great setters. Beautiful pair of hands on the German number two. Goes up with the block then as well. What a moment from Becker. Well, we're only six points in and already this one exploding into life. We've had big plays from both teams. It's Russia three, Germany three. But 
The block goes up this time. It was off the antenna. Becker got up high. Does get high, doesn't he? Germany's number two. 4-3 Russia with the narrow advantage at the interval. He was a bit unlucky in this ball. Touched his block and then the antenna. He was so close to the antenna. Vishkiv serves. Schroeder. Bit of a mistake from him there. That was an opportunity. So Russia five, Germany three. And Germany deciding to call for the timeout after eight points of this one. It's close, isn't it? Good final, good quality. Good quality. We can expect also some nice blocks because the teams they're choosing to hit more than shooting. And that's good. People love it. The crowd loves it. And we can hear some, some nice songs. Monster block. Monster <laughs> block. <laughs> well, the first time out called. Both teams look quite relaxed, though. Russia communicating a little bit less because, of course, Germany were the ones who called the time out for tactical purposes. Wagrein welcoming the teams back onto the court. And as this tournament and this competition and this sport in general starts to grow, Wagrein are really setting the benchmark here. What a stunning venue this has been. They have a lot of experience in this kind of events. They've been doing this for 12 years already. Continues to grow, Miskiv with the service. Off the block. Becker off Miskiv. Becker goes back to serve, bringing Germany back to within one, 4-5. Left-handed jump serve. Dianov goes up. Oh, that's one for them to chase, but they won't quite get there. Becker managing to get two hands to that, but Schroeder not able to get it before it goes into the crowd, 6-4. Up goes Becker again, hammers across court. Miss give a little bit too far away to cause any problems with the block. And there's the mistake from Schroeder. We've not had many mistakes in this match so far. Points have had to have been earned. around about 20 past one local time. So the sun pretty much straight in the faces of the German pit. Eight five, the Russians lead. After that frantic start, Germany's level just dropping off a little bit. Important to get back and here's the opportunity to do so Oh, the block off the antenna, that's unlucky from Miskiv. Got two good hands to that, so at the second break, Germany just two behind, it's 8-6 to Russia. Of course, following this, we have the medal presentation ceremonies to come as well, so do stick with us for those. Help us celebrate the achievements of these people making history today. There's a rare mistake. A little bit of footballing skill from Russia, of course. They're already wearing football shoes, so yeah. that's <laughs> it's easier. And hosting the World Cup this year as well. Maybe they're looking for a call up to that too. Of course, they're wearing the football boots with the studs on the bottom to get a bit of grip. You might be used to soft snow, but this compacted. It's heavy. So they need the studs to break through the ice at the top and get a little bit of grip on this surface. Timeout's been called this time by Russia. Germany back to within one. Well, the sun absolutely beating down on the court here. However, our commentary position is probably the only tiny little bit of shade in the entire arena now the sun's got in behind which um, 
for my very pale Welsh skin is doing me the world of good, for, but for your Brazilian blood, I think you might be starting to feel the cold here, Pedro. Yeah, my feet are freezing here. I'm trying to move to stay a little bit warmer. Well, you can dance to these songs. The DJ and the MC doing a great job of getting the crowd going. Germany to get us back underway. One point behind, 7-8 in the set one. There goes the jump serve. Dianov goes up. Oh, it's well kept up by Becker. Great dig from him. Can he finish it? Oh, defense this time from Schroeder. And off the fingertips of Miskiv. Of course, people always concentrate on the winning shot, but what a defensive dig that was to begin with. Got to keep that one. ball alive. 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, into the net, and they get the luck this time. A service. Well, take your luck when you get it. Paul Becker putting Germany ahead. He has clattered that into the net tape. Good aggressive serving from Becker. Oh, and now the block from Schroeder. It's set point here to Germany. And that aggressive serving from Becker paying dividends. Wagrein once again raises to its feet Germany with the opportunity to take the lead in this final. Set point. Aggressive service again. Dianov down the line, well played. You don't become kings of snow without being able to keep your temperament. Still set point. Ruslan Dianov to serve. Schroeder to Becker to win the set, and he gets stuffed back down. Taras Miskiv with a huge block. 10-10. This final living up to expectations. Dianov to serve to put the advantage back to Russia. Oh, and it's long. Oh, imagine following up a huge block with a long service. Set point again to Germany. Unbelievable. How can they make the, those mistakes? It was a great block before, and then they missed the serve. The other team was so much pressured. Jonas Schroeder to win the set for Germany. They've exchanged ends as we've reached 21 points. And oh, that one drifts wide. Dianov. So much force behind that right hand. 11-11 again. That's two set points saved for Russia. Miskiv. Oh, lovely shot. Jonas Schroeder. Not too much power on that one, but plenty of space. Precise, and it's a third set point. Becker to serve. Schroeder waits at the net. Here goes Miskiv then to stay in the set. Oh, gorgeous roll shot. If they keep playing like this, I think we're going to go to, to 20 or more. 12-12. <laughs> Ruslan Dianov. It's three set points that Russia have saved now. There's Becker with the roll shot. Oh, and Dianov makes no mistake. Wasn't the best roll shot from Germany. So Russia now with their first set point. They defended three. Will they take advantage of, the, of their first one? Taras Miskiv claps his hands to get the crowd going. Set point Russia. Paul Becker to the net. And he's hit it long. Oh, three set points blown for Germany. Russia take this at the first time of asking. 14-12.
and it's advantage Russia in this gold medal final. We were talking about controlling the, ner the nerves in the, in the beginning of the set. I think they, they were not so successful in this matter. They had a lot of opportunities, and then when they had to score, when they had to side out, they were not able. So the Mernian dancers are back out there entertaining the crowd. They're up to the full allotment of four. They've come up from Vienna to entertain the people here, and they have got a capacity crowd to perform to, who are absolutely loving the action here. The entertainment both on and off the court at Wagrein. Not just the hosts for the CEV 2018 Snow Volleyball European Championships, but also the birthplace of the sport. And they must feel an immense amount of pride to welcome the world here. We've got people tuning in from all over the planet. And a very, very warm welcome to you all. The matches today have really delivered, and this one is shaping up to do exactly the same. Russia, one set to the good. They defended three set points against Germany, and finally took the opening set 14-12. Ruslan Dayanov and Taras Miskiv in the blue jerseys. Miskiv to serve first in the second set. Oh, that's returned back on the first ball. Chipped to the backcourt by Dianov. We don't see that many times in snow volleyball. He faked his defense, he went to one side, then he came back to the other side and then bump on the first ball. That's not so usual. Here's Becker then to equalize. Oh, he got a good right hand to that, did Miskiv. But it just goes out long. Dianov, oh, what a block. Paul Becker, the number two, brings the crowd to their feet once again. But it's off the block this time. This time the, the set was better because the other one was too low. He couldn't escape the block. 2-2, Russia leading by one set to nil. Ruslan Dianov serving to Germany. Just floats that one short of the net, so Becker will have another chance to swing his right hand at it. That one's gone long, though. Well, the MC asking who's supporting who. And they're certainly making more noise for Germany than they are for Russia at the moment. Paul Becker up again. Oh, he's missed that one too. Just overcommitted. And Russia 4-2 to the good. And Germany have called a timeout as well. Just slipping two points behind. Still in the relatively early phases of this second set. We've got a few people in the shade taking evasive measures here, including Pedro next to me. He's, he's made a bad footwear choice today. Everything else is warm, so he thought he'd wear his snazzy dancing shoes. I've gone for snowboard boots. It's, it's, it's quite difficult to describe because we are just in a little bit of shade. Of course, there's snow on the ground, the air is still cool, but the people who are out of the shade, they're in t-shirts, they're in vests, they're applying sun cream, they're getting tans, they're fully enjoying the springtime conditions here. Incredible conditions for snow volleyball, for skiing, for snowboarding. And Germany off the blocks, they've called the timeout. And now they're trying to get the crowd up for it. The Wagram crowd certainly on their side, but at the moment the scoreboard isn't Russia 4, Germany 2. Russia 1-0 up in sets as well. Ruslan Dianov serves. Becker with the pass. And now with the attack. Miskiv got a touch on that, so it has to go over this time. Unlike an indoor volleyball, a block touch counts as one of the three touches. That's well finished. Schroeder this time down the line. 
And so we reached seven points between the two teams. We changed sides and it's Russia four, Germany three. Next time, remind me to bring my snowboard uh, boots, okay? I can highly recommend them. <laughs> they look ridiculous sticking out of the bottom of my skinny jeans, but other than that, <laughs> I've got warm tootsies. We're back in the way in this final. Dianov can only find Becker, who will receive the pass from his partner. And it's unorthodox. Went at it with the left hand for the roll shot. But that's the kind of variety you need, isn't it? It's not only about hitting the balls. Have to look at the space and just put the ball there. Russia four, Germany four. Into the net though, what a time to make a mistake like that. Paul Becker, after doing all the hard work previously. Schroeder this time. Chips for the corner and rolls it over Dianov. But Germany, they're unable to get their noses in front, but they're hanging in there here. 5-5. Five, five. Oh, wow. In comes the block. They managed to keep it alive and finish the points in the end. But I thought for a second, Paul Becker had done enough to win the point. They had a lot of patience. They got the, the, the ball back from the block. Good set, good hit. They got the point. Dianov serves. Schroeder sets to Becker, who goes up and gets stepped back down. Taras Miskiv. Oh, even he's joining in with the dancing too. Every time we have one of those, the DJ plays the same sting and everyone gets involved. That a monster block. The German probably a little bit too far away from the net to hit that shot, but regains his confidence to bring Germany back to within one, six, seven in the second set. Well, a discussion here between Becker and the second referee about who's serving. I think Becker eventually realizes he's wrong and apologizes to the referee. He said, it's not me, it's not me, it's not me. Then eventually, sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did it with a smile on his face. There wasn't a smile on his face initially. And it might not be after this attack. Dianov, it's off the block of Schroeder. And at the 14 point turnaround, Russia, two points ahead, 8-6 to the good. It's got to the point now where everyone expected Russia to be here. Of course, the Kings of Snow, Germany, the surprise package of the tournament, but I think they'll be bitterly disappointed if they don't win. That's well played on the second ball. Let's see how they react. In the first set, they were really good in the end of the set. They didn't make it, but they were really good. Yep. They were able to come back and have three set points. 7-8. This will be Mishkiv. Drifts it in and takes Russia to within two points of a two-set lead. Ruslan Dianov to serve away from the sun. A well-watched, good communication as well. Schroeder called out, out, out to Becker. Good teamwork between the German pair, 8-9. Oh, goodness me. Ruslan Dianov stinging one through Germany there to bring them to set point, 10-8. No stopping that. Well, Russia took their first set point last time, but they had to defend three this time. This is their first bite at the cherry with the score 10 8. To stay in the set for Germany. Oh, well played. Paul Becker. Seems to have a lot of hang time. He gets up there, swings that left hand at it. Still set point. 
DNR for a 2 0 advantage into the net. Oh, Germany hold their nerve, and it's 10 10. They tried a different strategy now with a short and low ball. It didn't work out. I don't know why they, why they tried that in the last point, in the set point. It makes no sense. Dianov with another bite at the cherry, takes full advantage of it this time, set point to Russia once more. Then they are back into the regular strategy. So we change ends once more, we've reached 21 points and it's as tight as it could be at this point. The crowd's still on their feet here, set point Russia. Dianov to serve. Schroeder to stay alive in the set. Oh, well played again. Talk about holding your nerve. Jonas Schroeder, it was a lovely set from Paul Becker. 11 11, tiny margins. Russia took advantage of them in the first set. Can Germany take advantage of them in the second? Becker to serve. Dianov receives. So. Mishkiv with the set, goes up with that big right hand and hammers down for another set point. Well, so many opportunities for Russia to win this one. Germany finding a way to stay alive. The first set was 14-12, gives you an idea of how tight this is. Schroeder into space, Dianov slings the left hand at it. But it's 12 12. Schroeder to serve. Dianov again. Well, you just can't defend against that, can you? It was a mistake by the block. The ball was so close to the net, he could have not have done that. Well, 14 12 was the score that Russia won the first set by 13 12. It is here. Set point. Dianov serves. Up goes Becker. It's off the block, surely. Yes. He jumped very high on this block, on this wall. Well, shows they're not tired at all. What a battle. Yeah. Already 13 13. We are going to. You want to bet? <laughs> <laughs> I am not putting any money on this final whatsoever because uh, it is neck and neck is that out it is out oh goodness me it's the set point oh what a time to make a mistake for russia germany have held on not just during the set points but during the set they've been hanging in there Russia took full advantage of their first set point. Can Germany do the same? Here goes Dianov. Oh, God. It's like someone's hit the recharge button. 14-14. Taras Miskiv to serve. Schroeder and Becker await. Schroeder to set to Becker. Miskiv waits off the block and it's set point Germany once again. Well, if it keeps on going like this, we'll have to play under floodlights. <laughs> the Russian team is trying some fake defense, but it's not working out. Maybe if they come back to the traditional ones. It's a good set here from Dianov to set up Miskiv and that's exactly what it gets. So accurate from the Russians. Very nice set. 15-15. Dianov to serve. Goes with a float serve this time, so... Oh, there's a mistake on the second ball from Germany. Hands the advantage back to Russia. Well, Russia can't believe it. There looked to be an obvious touch from Germany. The ball was going long. The defender couldn't get his hands out of the way in time. Look and the at the reaction of the German guys. They know what happened. The Italian referee sends Russia back to where they came from, and it's set point to Germany once again.
Well, they've taken it up with the first referee. Now they're taking it up with the second. They are absolutely furious. And the yellow card's been shown for ill discipline by the Russians, but they are set point down. It is Germany 16, Russia 15. The Wagering crowd are on their feet. They go on the second ball off the block. They maintain their composure. And it's 16-16 once again, and they look super revved up now. It took him a lot of nerves to do this second ball. The block was there. It was a hard time to do it. Well, it was the right move. Russia 16, Germany 16. Becker goes up. And it goes to Russia. They get the advantage this time. It was so close to the line. The first referee making a good call. And Russia have a set point once again. 17-16. It's like we're playing a game of indoor. <laughs> Set point to Russia. Germany up against it again. Schroeder with the chance to equalize, which he does. Dianov nearly getting there. Okay, they tried the fake defense. It's not working out. Well, they've tried that a few times, really, haven't they? And it's worked out only at the first time, I guess. Dianov again. That's too hot for Jonas Schroeder. <laughs> Set point to Russia. And they get the points as well. Nineteen seventeen. The referee eagle eyed on that one. And I thought we'd be going all night, but it's advantage Russia. They are two sets to the good in this final. And well, 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 what a final this is turning into. But now it's a must win for Germany. They had their chances there. 1917 tells a story. But the moral of the story so far is that Russia, the kings of snow, the kings of the European tour, are currently looking like they could be the kings of the CEV Snow Volleyball European Championships as well. The MC's out on the court, he's getting the crowd up on their feet. The atmosphere is absolutely stunning here, as is the Snow Volleyball. These finals have been nigh on perfect. Everyone playing the game in the right spirit. Germany, the underdogs, the ninth seeds against the powerhouse Russian pair. They're just missing out on the key moments at the moment. They lost the first set 14-12. They lost the second 19-17. We've almost played enough points to have a full match. And we're underway now with the third set. And Germany off to a flying start. Talas Miskiv once again. Following this match, we'll be bringing you both the men's and women's medal ceremonies as well. So do stick with us for those. Oh, lovely roll shot to get Germany off the mark. Paul Becker wearing number two for Germany. I wonder if they've got another gear that they can find just to ask a few more questions of Russia because it's been so tight, but those key moments have all gone Russia's way. That was a rare mistake there from Mishkiv. It was not a very good set. He tried to be very aggressive, didn't work out. Germany to serve, leading 2-1. 
in this third set. Oh, and a block comes in from Schroeder. They're giving it the benefit of the net, but he got high. That would have been in the Russian's eye line. Good defense from the German pair. Paul Becker serving. Too much on that. That aggressive serving tactic. Sometimes you do make mistakes, but as they look to turn the screw, they have to do it. They have to do something different to, to win at least one set. Oh, well, they exchange service errors. Germany with a two point advantage. an excellent dig is it going to drop in yes the point stays alive Russia somehow managed to return that oh, oh. <laughs> Ruslan Dianov behave yourself how Russia managed to win this point oh. well that's why they're kings in the snow they find a way they're on the back foot there the majority of the point but now they find themselves just one behind Mishkiv serves here goes Paul Becker the point goes Germany's way net touch by Russia but it was a great dig yeah that's the thing isn't it when you get the point for the net touch it almost takes away it gets so frustrated the quality of the play Smoking hot right hand from Dianov. No block in place. Hits a great angle. Going off the net this time, but well read by Germany. Becker recovers, but so does Dianov. Now has the chance to win it, and he does. How are Russia winning these points? All the 50-50s going in favour of the Kings of Snow at the moment. 5-5. Five, five. Taking advantage of their experience. Timeout's been called. Well, Germany calling the timeout. And I think it's dawning on them that now it's a must win. Otherwise they go home. Yeah. Well, we're having some pictures of what's going on in the crowd here. And some highlights of the game as well. Taras Miskiv, when he gets it right, he is absolutely unplayable. But have a look at that pickup from Dianov. Superstars of snow volleyball. And the crowd on their feet once again, clapping their hands, stamping their feet and creating a marvellous atmosphere. As we reach the business end of this final, it's Russia 5, Germany 5. Russia leading by two sets to nil. Dianov to serve. Goes with that short float serve again this time. Oh, massive from Paul Becker. Puts Germany back into the lead. Jonas Schroeder with the service and then with the reception. They go on the second ball this time, but that's well picked up by Dianov. Finally, though, they put the ball to bed. Paul Becker. Unfortunately, he touched the net. But it was a great rally. But again, that's one that you think is going to go Germany's way, and then it goes Russia's. And that's the difference between... They've been making a little mistakes. 8-5 and 6-6. Six, six, sorry, 7-5 and 6-6. Six, six. It's a nice set, though. And off the block. 
Mishke frustrated because he got two hands to that, but Becker doing enough to put Germany back ahead. Jump service into the net. High risk again. They just the try to be aggressive. They have to be aggressive. Well, if you pass to either of these Russian players, then they're going to put the ball away. Such a versatile pairing, Dianov and Mishkiv. And that one is off the block by Paul Becker. This is the gold medal match in the 2018 CEV Snow Volleyball European Championships. Germany need to win this set to stay alive. Russia need to win it for the gold medal. And Dianov hammers through. Well, that was so quick. No time for Germany to even react in defense. And it's 8-8. Eight, eight. Up goes Schroeder. Well kept alive by Dianov. They go on the second ball and it just drops on the Russian side and off the block from Dianov. Russia now two points away from a straight sets win. They're the kings of snow. Will they be the European champions? Taras Miskiv to serve. Schroeder sets. On comes Becker. An important shot from him, levels things at nine apiece. It's been so close. If Russia win this set, the history books will say that it was a 3-0 straight sets win, but that doesn't tell the full story. It doesn't. And I don't think it's going to be a 3-0. Well, that is a commitment from Pedro <laughs> Cunha that Germany are going to win this third set. And that one's just dropped in. Just because the match is so good, I want to watch more. I completely agree. But now it is set point. It's match point. And it is championship point for Russia. The kings of snow with the opportunity to become the kings of Europe. Here goes Becker. And it's out. Russia celebrates, they've made history, they are the first ever European snow volleyball champions. Dianov and Miskiv have dominated the European Tour, now they've dominated the European Championships. They've defeated the German pair, the spirited German pair of Schroeder and Becker in an epic final. It was three sets to nil, but that does not tell the full story. 14-12, 19-17, 11-9 to get the gold medal and lift the trophy. The end of a truly remarkable weekend here at the home, the birthplace of snow volleyball. And a full day of finals. And we're now going to hear from the winners, okay. the champions. <laughs> They're Congratulations courtside. on the victory. Uh, I'm really excited to be here to watch this great match, this great final. Uh, I want to know how, how you feel to be the first ever snow volleyball European champions. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. We try to uh, feel, uh, uh, to feel fun in every in every point, and uh, we just uh, uh, play for. Uh, for a good game, uh, it's incredible for us, it's a uh, uh, great result for us. We don't expect this and uh, we are very, very happy now. It's good to hear that. We're very excited for you too. What do you say about this great atmosphere? The crowd gets really crowded here with this perfect weather. Uh, yes, it was a great atmosphere. Uh, it was a great tournament. Uh, I want to say thank you for for all organizers uh, because this tournament was on a high level uh, tournament, and uh, for all who come here and supports us, thank you. Yeah, you're right. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. 
Well, that was Pedro Cunha courtside with the champions. Ruslan Dianov and Taras Miskiv and deserved champions as well. We're very lucky in this fledgling sport to have some real ambassadors and we've seen the very best of them both on and off the court here in Wagrein. Thank you for joining us. Our coverage not yet over though. We will of course be bringing you the bronze, silver and gold medal presentations in the women's and men's competition. The kings of snow become the kings of Europe here. Ruslan Dianov and Taras Miskiv have beaten the German pair of Jonas Schroeder and Paul Becker in straight sets. But huge credit needs to go to the runners up. They'll be leaving here with a silver medal. And now it's time to hear from the silver medalists. Well, congratulations on the silver medal. Maybe it's not what I've expected before. But it was a, such a great, a great match, great final for the crowd, for everyone. How do you feel to be here? Uh, it was such a nice day. Uh, weather is perfect. Crowd was perfect. I think our game was not perfect. It was quite good, um, but we made too many mistakes, and then yeah, it's okay. That the Russian guys were better. The Russian guys were better. Yeah, I think we can say that. Uh, I was very excited to watch the game, to watch the match. Uh, how do you feel about the crowd, about this experience? To, to get a medal in the first ever uh, snow volleyball European Championships. Yeah, we need maybe 30 more minutes or an hour or two, and then we are very happy about that result. Uh, I think we had some really, really good teams participating in this tournament, and yeah, it wasn't our best game, and then the Russian uh, guys just played too good. Um, so yeah, I think uh, we're still happy um, with the second place. Uh, I think we had quite a few very close matches before. We won them, this time we lost, uh, I think. Yeah, that's just the way it is. Yeah, I think you should be very happy, very proud of yourselves. So congratulations again. Thank you.